Hello everyone, welcome back to JD Mods. In today's video, we are going to be continuing working on the K site. So, for the goal of today's video, we are going to be cleaning out the engine bay of our Honda Insight in preparation for the K20Z1. Um, so, I'm going to be removing all the nuts and bolts, all the old brackets we no longer need, the engine mounts. Um, I'm going to be removing some of the firewall liner, um, brake lines, fuel lines. It all has to come out. Some of it's going to go back in, but not a lot of it. So, let's get started. To start, I'm going to do just a little cleanup of the engine bay. I'm going to go ahead and remove the exhaust, the shifter cables and bracket, um, the old engine mounts, and just a few loose hanging brackets. So now that those two items are off, I'm just going to keep working away. I'm going to go ahead and take off lots of little things like the engine mounts. Um, there's a bunch of random brackets that I'm not going to need anymore. Some, some cables. And then eventually I'm going to get to the brake lines as we will be replacing all the brake lines on this car. So the next step, we're going to be removing the brake lines and ABS modules. So I'm pretty much going to take them off of the master cylinder and I'm going to remove every single brake line. Uh, I'm just going to cut them for now at the end of the firewall. I'm also going to remove the clutch line and all the reservoirs and associated brake components. So let's get started on that. There is the ABS and brake lines removed from the Insight. They're quite a bit rusty and that will be quite a bit of weight savings for the race car. Next up, I'm going to go ahead and try and unbolt the steering rack, which means I have to undo the tie rod ends. And I'm also going to undo the struts, so that should be all the suspension falling from the car. So on the skid right there, you can see I have the steering rack both struts and coils and the sway bar as well and then if I pan over to the engine bay you can see we are almost done here I'm going to be taking off the kind of carpet stuff on the firewall um, I have a few more fuel lines I've decided to redo the entire car with AN fuel and brake lines and then just a few more things I'm going to take off the lower control arms and then I will give you the final shot before we paint it so that is it everybody. The engine bay is 100% empty. I have removed, just to recap, every single suspension component. I removed the cowling. I removed um, everything at the back of the firewall. We removed everything. Literally everything is out of the engine bay except for this one wiring harness that goes behind the dash. So I don't want to take that out. Now what we're going to do is take a wire brush and some sandpaper and just scuff up the engine bay, uh, mainly in the areas of corrosion. And then we're going to also give it a light sand to give the new paint something to stick to. And then we will show you guys once more before we hit it with the paint. So here is the Insights engine bay 100% ready for paint. Let me quickly show you guys what I did. So what I did was before taping it off, that is the few things that have to be taped off. I just went around and scuffed, scuffed up all the paint with some sandpaper and you can see there's some spots that were corroded so I just kind of used a wire wheel and made sure they were smooth and free of corrosion. So then I just blocked off the windshield and now it is 100% ready to start laying down the paint. So I'll be painting the Insights engine bay with this chrome aluminum acrylic enamel by Duplicolor. I bought two cans of it, so hopefully that's enough. This is what I used on the Orissos engine bay, and it actually held up very well to a few incidents, tools, etc. So let's go ahead and get spraying.
Well everybody, there is the engine bay fully painted in the insight, so that will be the end of today's video. But stay tuned for the next videos where we start reassembling everything and starting to put the K20Z1 inside the insight. Thanks for watching. As always, please like, comment, and subscribe.